Hey guys, welcome to the daily vlogs on the Supercars London YouTube channel. What a great day to start yesterday. I can't believe that a Saudi P1 arrived on the 1st of June. Monday, 1st of June. What a great, great start to the vlogs. And I'm absolutely shattered. Last night after I got in from London, I went to the gym, I had dinner, and I didn't get to bed until just after midnight. Didn't get a chance to edit the video. Laptop's in front of me now, so I'm going to edit yesterday's vlog and uh, then get cracking on the day. I've got a few errands to run in the morning. Obviously got to have breakfast, most important meal of the day. Don't forget to have breakfast. Interesting start to the morning. So I've just finished editing the video and I'm straight out of the door. As you can see, I've done my hair this morning. Um, heading to the post office because no one was in the house yesterday when the postman delivered, which is rare and annoying. So I'm having to go down and collect it myself. And then, then, I've got a meeting at 11, which I completely forgot about. It's half past 10 now. And um, I literally just got a message to say, no, he's still on for 11 o'clock. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, parcel collected. There was definitely an argument going on as well with the Royal Mail, which is uh, not unheard of. Right, ladies and gentlemen, this is gonna be the quickest game ever. Pick your favorite car from the Ferrari Maserati forecourt now. What can you see? What can you see? 458, 430 Spider, FF in like some champagne colour. What was your favourite? Comment below. Success in the meeting. I have finished and I've returned back to my car just as the traffic warden walks past. Thank God. And now it's time to get out of here. And now I actually am going to the office. No idea how I'm going to do that because I don't know where I am. But it's time to get back to the office. Aircon on, it's really hot and sort of muggy. Pulling up to SB Race Engineering at 20 past 12, lunchtime. And I need to find a parking space. Um, there, that is gonna be my parking space. I just need to do a U-turn. <laughs> oh, I'll never get old. That will never get old. And I can't believe it's midday and I haven't even got into the office yet. No wonder I never get anything done. Uh, what have we got here? This is a Parata della Strada box. I've got a cap. I did ask for a new cap. I always wear the black one, so I thought, why not? Get a white one. And then these look like the new supercar spotting t-shirts with the Supercars of London logo on the front. Check them out. What do you reckon to them? The sort of newly revised Supercars of London official supercar spot t-shirt. That I have forgotten to do, and I'm gonna try and get this done before I head to London, is edit my shell video. Now, if you're new to following me on Instagram or Twitter, then um, if you scroll back a couple of weeks, you would have seen that I went to the Top Gear test track with Shell and got involved with their Nitro Plus V-Power. Amazing fuel, um, and we did a, an amazing driving challenge with a BMW X6 diesel, I think it was. I'm gonna edit up the footage now, try and get um, some sort of video together, which is gonna be going live uh, towards the end of this week, so I need to get it edited, checked over, uploaded, and out. So um, look out for that towards the end of the week. I'm gonna be obviously tweeting and Instagramming about when that video goes live, and also when their video goes live, the actual Shell video, which is gonna be um, amazing. I'm sure I make a cameo in it. Uh, probably my scared face running around crying. <laughs> I didn't cry. I don't even know why I said that. So currently, you are plugged in. Well, the iPhone is plugged in because I got it down to about 40% battery um, in the space of probably four hours. So you're charging. Um, the good news is, I don't know whether you can see this from here. Let me try and like focus. Yes. It's blue sky. Right, so this is my sixth trip on the motorway, I think. The first day that I got it, I needed to drive on a motorway. Whatever, I don't, I'm not gonna count how many times I've been on a motorway. This car needs to come with a windsock on top that measures the, the uh, miles per hour of the wind outside because it's it's not stable on the motorway. I'll, I'll probably, it's the only 
downside to such a small car in the town is fantastic the turning circle is ridiculous so good however on the motorway I don't think it's built for the motorway it's not that enjoyable to be completely honest and I know over the last two days it has been windy maybe I'll do a bit of a better test over the next few days when it's just gonna be nice sunny and warm but in the UK the weather is not sunny and warm all the time right I have parked up and I'm going through Instagram to check if there is anything going on in London at the moment and by the looks of it within an hour there's not much at all to report back on but as this is um, the way that the way that supercar spotting goes now you've just got to uh, oh there's a speciale you've just got to move with the times I used to walk around on foot for hours and hours and hours which I still do but now let's check Instagram and see what's going on but it doesn't seem to be that much going on Is that Porsche got GT3 wheels or a Qatari GT3 I've seen this one before it's been here ages it does look good though I know that's not the best angle of it I'm calling Dimmy he said that he was going to be here at half past six. Hello? Yes. Yes, bro. I'm just about to leave. Okay. Leaving Baker Street. Sorry, bro. Yeah, leaving Baker Street. Sorry, bro. I'm in a rush, but uh, I, to, I just came back. Okay. I just, I didn't want to WhatsApp you because I know you haven't got data, but I'm hungry. No. Oh, okay. Uh, give, me, give me 20 minutes, bro. I'll be there. I'll call you. I'm still in there. Bring food. <laughs> I'm alone. I'm just... Yeah, I'm alone. I'm alone as well. Okay, I'm, I'm down by um, the white G-Wagon, right, okay. right opposite Hans Crescent. The GT3, but also a Dimmy 164 crossing a road. Dimmy 164 is his YouTube name. Watch him get really embarrassed as I bring the camera closer to his face. <laughs> Windy on Sloan Street, and I've met up with Dimmy, who was really embarrassed on camera, but now he's been in one of my videos, he's got like nearly 100k views. <laughs> he's having to deal with it. Um, no, no, I'm fine with it because my hair looks better now. So. Oh, his hair looks better now. Hello, in the wind. <laughs> yeah, well, both of my hair is all over. Yes. We've got a nice Bentley here, and we're going to have a look at an F12, but Dimmy was saying that once his exams were finished, his content was going to get a lot better. <laughs> And he was going to be uploading daily. His Instagram was going to be back up and running on fire. You would have, you wouldn't have seen him yesterday, even though he was out for about 40 minutes waiting for the P1. You weren't even out long enough to get on, to get on my video, my vlog that went out yesterday. Oh, oh well, it doesn't matter because you're you're going back to France. You're telling me that your content's going to be insane when you get back to France. Oh, mate, I'm going to shut it down. He's going to shut it down in France. I'm going to shut it down. So uh, make sure that you're checking Dimmy164. On ins oh no, on YouTube and Instagram. Paul's gonna be worried. I'm gonna be worried. Yes. That's actually quite a cool colour. Dark green military truck. I'm not worried about your content, by the way. I'm just in I'm just intrigued as to how you're gonna shut it down. You'll see. You'll see. You'll okay. See. An idiot has arrived to the party. This is Tom in uh, the RS7. He's, he's not actually in it. But we're going to go out and film a high quality video for my channel. So I'm going to go out in it, do a bit of an overview. First impressions, this is a much better spec than the one before. It looks mean, but not as mean as this. Beast. So is this mine? Because yeah. in this vlog, this is London Muscle t-shirt by the way, for when I'm in the gym, doing the cutting guide. God, product placement all over the place. Uh, I'll play <laughs> you later. Yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, I, I, I opened another package from uh, America of more t-shirts. So this is going to look like to the viewers that I just get given free t-shirts all the time, which I don't. Yesterday I you said... dream. <laughs> yesterday I said like, oh, I'll get, this is a new car for the week. I don't get given new cars all the time. Turn this down. How do you turn it yeah. down? 
That one. That one. Correct. And, um, and now we're getting clothes all the time, which is quite ridiculous. And now we're going to go out in the um, the boat, the 560 brake horsepower boat, <sighs> driven by a Viking. You like a moron. <laughs> And um, yeah, I'm going to film on this camera now, out. which is going to go on YouTube at some point soon. This Lambo is just driving up and down Sloan Street. I think he's giving out rides. So I'm ending the vlog now, sat in the smart car, getting ready to head home. The time is five to nine. So by the time I get home, I'm gonna have a quick bit of food and then head straight out to the gym and then do it all again. But I'm enjoying this, these new daily vlogs and I hope you guys are as well. London, slightly a little bit more busy. Um, I think the closer it gets to the weekend, the more cars start to creep out. So a few Ferraris, Lamborghini Aventador, Roadster, and the Diablo. So make sure that you subscribe I will see you tomorrow and there'll be a full video of Tom's RS7 on my YouTube channel at some point this week. I'm just trying to work out when it's going to get uploaded. I'm going to put my seatbelt on and go home and see if there's anything nice parked up. Aha, aha, did you see that? Parking success.